Capricorn, hi. So this is going to be a reading for mid-May 2023. And I'll do the reading for you and then I'll close it off with a oracle card. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Capricorn. What's going on? Where are you? All right, the overall energy for the reading, the Nine of Cups. This is an energy of emotional balance that I feel like you're trying to achieve here. Um, but let's see, starting off the reading, the Eight of Pentacles crossed by the Eight of Swords. I mean, you're trying to work on something, but a lot of overthinking in the way of that. So whatever it is here that you're putting your effort into, you're kind of bringing a lot of this to the plate too, a lot of your thoughts into it, but it's... A little too many thoughts you know thoughts that you may not need in there in your focus here the five of cups something is of concern here something from the past is coming through as an energy in the recent past the page of swords not much movement here so i don't know what the hell happened in a particular situation in your strength the world card trying to close off cycles i feel like this is like a lot of this is coming through as um, an energy for the collective where cycles are being closed off, new ones are being, um, um, you know, trying to start there because, you know, whenever something ends, something new uh, comes up. Four, four of Wands um, for the energy of the immediate future that talks about commitment. Um, and it doesn't have to be to a person necessarily. It could even be a job or whatever. Uh, we'll see. The supportive energy is the Six of Pentacles. This is an equal give and take kind of an energy. Balanced kind of an energy. The energy that surrounds you and you may not be aware of it. The Four of Swords. Maybe you need a break. Maybe you need a little bit of a pause. A little bit of a break from everything. Just, you know, go chill on the beach or do something. If it doesn't have to be the beach. If you don't like it, go somewhere. Something. Disconnect. You know, for a little bit. Um, in your hopes and fears, the Ace of Wands. A lot of uh, passion, passionate um, action here that you may want to take in a particular direction. And for the potential outcome, there's a connection that shows up here for you. Um, let's clarify. Let me clarify the Nine of Cups. Oi, five of swords, ten of swords, three of cups. You're entertaining a situation that looks like it's not working out. And it's kind of looking a little deceptive, a little self-sabotaging, a little... Because first you're showing me, I'm so happy. And then you're showing me, oh, by the way, I'm dealing with this. And it's really... I don't even know what the hell is going on here. I feel like it's not working out. But anyways, I'm putting my energy into this. And I'm so happy. Okay. Could involve love or wanting to involve love. But anyways, let's do the Eight of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, Two of Cups. Oh, okay. So that's why there's a lot of overthinking here. Because this is what you want. And this is what you're entertaining. These energies don't look the same. This is something that's actually working out. This is something that flows with what you want. This is something you're dealing with. This not looking the same as this. Now I get why the overthinking is here. Because in this one, you're showing me a lot of nurturing, a lot of love, a lot of self-love. And, you know, that energy that's bouncing off of love between you and another. Here, you're showing me, oh, I'm happy. By the way, this isn't working out at all, but I'm trying. I'm trying to make it work. Not the same as this. This works, period. This? I don't know. I don't know. Let's do the Eight of Swords. 
the judgment card, the seven of wands, the fool. Because you know that ultimately it's up to you where you give your energy, you know? You keep it as an intention for what you want and that's it. And you stop doing this because it's not aligned with this. Or you keep on giving to this, hoping that maybe one day it'll turn into this. But you don't have that guarantee. And based on the energies that are up front, in front of this energy, it's kind of like this either works or doesn't like that. And this one doesn't for now. I don't know if it's going to change. I have no idea. But do you have the guarantee of tomorrow? Time. How much time are you going to give this to be that that you want? You know, so that's why there's this whole sense of what do I do? I don't know, but it works. But then it doesn't. But then it aligns with what I want. But then it doesn't. But then am I being honest with myself? I don't think so. But I think I am, though. And I'm going to wait. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's your, what, what your thought process is here, but it's very complicated. It becomes very complicated. When in all actuality, the intention is very clear. So ultimately, you know that it's up to you to decide what to do about this one. Let's do the Five of Cups in your focus. The Tower, the High Priestess, the Knight of Wands. There's been a lot of fuck-ups in here. In this situation, I feel like, you know, you've been trying and trying and trying within this situation in the past. And you're showing me that your intuition tells you, hey, they got a good heart. They got great intentions. So that's all that matters. And then in the physical, a big fuck up. So is that what you're working with? With someone's good intentions and energy, but when it comes to put them into practice, it looks like a shit show? And is that what you want to be dealing with? And I mean, you're, you're showing me clearly here that that's what you've dealt with in the past. And when I look in the current situation at the situation, I agree with you. Their intentions are great. Nothing to object there. But you keep on showing me energies of this is not working out. You know? Because if all of this life was a game between energies and intentions, we would all be happy like motherfuckers. But when it comes to actually living the human experience and, you know, putting those energies at play, it becomes a little more complicated. Let's see the page of stories there in the recent past. Ouch. The Eight of Cups, the World Card, the Five of Cups. You've, you've disconnected from the situation a while ago. Uh, I'm not sure if you're trying to come back to it or it's coming to, it's trying to come back to you, but there's a closing of a cycle there. There's an emotional disconnection and there's mm, not much energy put into this. Not a lot on your side. It's like, yeah, whatever. Hmm. Let's do the world card in your strength. The Six of Swords, the Knight of Cups, the Seven of Cups. I see you're trying to move on, uh, keeping your heart open and trying to move on and step away from this closing of the cycle. Because you are showing me there in the past that maybe you've tried or maybe you have closed the cycle, you know. Um, so right now you're showing me a sense of, okay, let's keep our chin up and let's let's just move on. Let's see, you know. Let's do the Four of Wands in the uh, immediate future. The Nine of Cups, the Lovers, the Eight of Swords. Ooh. trying to figure out if it's the same connection or if it's something new because you're jumping into something very huge here like just like that like an overnight kind of an energy and the nine of cups is connected to the same energy we've been dealing with here and it's shown up there and if that's the case that would tell me that your perception over this has 
possibly switched. But then again, your perception is ran by a lot of, you know, energy of the mind, the confused mind. So almost looking like, ha, huh, did I make a huge mistake? Was this more than met the eye and I just didn't see it? Or this is a completely new situation. I can't tell exactly because you're right there. It's like first you're showing me I'm moving on and then you're showing me the next day. It's like, like where did this energy come from? Hmm. So I'm not sure. I would tie it up based on the nine of cups that showed up. Um, in there and also here tied up to this but at the same time with that lovers I'm getting a brand new energy unless you're starting to envision this under a brand new energy under some form of regret or thinking that maybe I missed this train maybe it was bigger than I thought I don't know let's, let's proceed let's see where this is going see the six of pentacles in your supportive energies knight of pentacles <laughs> well uh knight of pentacles ace of pentacles the hangman and here you're showing me an energy of moving on but really really slow and i just saw it as okay the energy of moving on showed up and then bam something else showed up immediately after and then you're like, no, we're chilling. We're taking our time. You know, we're gonna take it one day at a time here. We're not gonna rush through this. Almost not even moving. That's how slow you move here, you know? It feels right though, this energy. Um, it feels like it's coming from you, from a place of, I'm not even forcing this. It just feels natural to proceed like this, you know? So then what the hell is hitting you there? Is it, I feel like it's regret more than anything. I feel like it's, it's, a looks a little bit like tricks of the mind where you're like, you know, did I move too fast out of this? Am I going to regret this? Is this like a missed opportunity? And I just didn't, you know, I was right there and I just didn't see it. Um, Cause you're making it bigger than what you're showing me here. And then you're showing me the Eight of Swords over it, you know, uh, which that tells me that you're coming from that very confused part of the mind. Um, let's do the Four of Swords in the hidden energies. The Eight of Wands, the Star, the Nine of Swords. Whatever energy is coming towards you from the situation, I feel like it's what you want to hear. It's, it's almost feeling like it's exactly what I want to hear. It's exactly what I'm... I'm expecting from this. It's still showing up as, yeah, it's not doing it. It's not doing it. It feels like as much as this feels like it's an energetic match between you and somebody, that's how much of a mismatch it is in the physical. So it's like anything that anyone does out of the two of you at this point, it's not going to do it. Uh, for some reason. I don't know why. It's just sometimes it happens in that way, though. Let's do the Ace of Wands. Hooey. In your hopes and fears, you get the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Wands again, the Page of Cups. Yeah, there it is. There's the energy you're desiring from this, you're possibly expecting from this, and it is coming through. It just doesn't cut it. Well, you are perceiving it in here at a deeper level than it comes here. So maybe you do have expectations and maybe the reason why it's not meeting your expectations, even though it is, um, it's because you're looking at it from a deeper perspective and that's not going to cut it. Wow, this is, this is so freaking complicated. Okay, let's do the lovers in your potential outcome the moon the two of pentacles the hermit you just showed me what i said yeah it's so freaking complicated and so complex i don't even know how deep it goes or how deep it doesn't because you're showing up ultimately in an energy of i don't know i don't know and 
you're not going to know. You're showing me a lot of Eight of Swords energy over all of this. And sometimes you're going to think of this as being more than it is. Sometimes you're going to think of it as being less than it is, you know. So I feel like it's a little bit of a roller coaster to figure out what the situation truly is for you. Uh, ultimately, it ends in deep healing for yourself, this process. So whichever way it goes, it's going to bring you a lot of healing. Um, I'm not, I don't see you being done with this process for now. Uh, you're at a place of, okay, trying to figure things out and then, you know, landing into a whole lot of healing over it. Um, you're not done though. Your journey in this situation is not done for now. Let's do what, uh, let's see what the universe has to close it off. Seven of swords, ace of cups, the sun. I feel like a lot of the times you may be scared to turn your back to this because what if, what if it's a missed opportunity? What if you didn't give it enough time to be what you want it to be? But even if you, yeah, even, even when you are given it time and the energies come back as what you want them to be, there's still a little bit of, mm, I don't know. So I get the sense that your reason for not walking away from this completely would be your fear of a missed opportunity here. Where's your trust in the universe? You know, that if this is meant to be, it's not going to remain as a missed opportunity. You know, if this is meant to come together in that way that it's planned for your soul, for their soul, for everybody involved, you're lacking that trust while you're kind of standing in this fear. Okay, let's do Beyond Lemuria Oracle card. You got the Portal Keeper. Oh. Let's see what that is. Gently explore the edges of your reality. Spend time in the forest to listen, deepen your meditation practice, dance yourself into ecstasy, explore psychic tools, and study new healing modalities. If you feel lacking in purpose or life seems a little mundane, remember there is never a reason to be bored. What we experience with our physical senses is just the tip of the iceberg. Magic exists wherever you care to find it look between the lines to limitless discovery ouch so that's what i have for you hope this helped and i'll see you next time bye